Hey guys, so I am headed in to go get laser skin resurfacing. It's called Fractional, and I'm really excited to have this done today because I hate my freaking pores. My pores are so huge, you know, here and here, and I just, I'm sick of the pore filling primers. I'm sick of trying to disguise them. Like, I want these suckers tight and small, so I'm here to get my face basically fried off, and I can't wait to see uh, what happens. So I will show you um, the process. I'm actually going to show you what it looks like, what's going on, and probably give you a little bit more detail about it because honestly I don't really even know that much about it. So I will give you the 411. Let's head in. It's got some bite to it, but it's bearable. Yeah, it's not too bad. Pop flakes. Heat. I just got home about 15 minutes ago from my treatment and this is how things are looking. I have my little um, verbiage here to tell you kind of a little bit more about the treatment. So I'm just going to read it to you to kind of give you guys a little bit more of a detail obviously than what I gave you. So it says fractional skin resurfacing with Palomar 500. Fractional skin resurfacing is a technology that rejuvenates the skin, offers minimal recovery time and low risk of complications. The energy delivered to the skin is fragmented. Imagine pixels on a TV screen. So the skin's ability to heal after treatments is expedited. This treatment causes your body to produce new collagen and connective tissue, thus creating healthier, smoother skin. This treatment is best for acne scars, surgical scars, stretch marks, fine lines, pores, and is best done in a series. So there's a little tidbit on that. Um, I'm so glad that I did not know when I was going there that I did not get to be numb for this treatment. Uh, I did get to be numb for the microneedling when I had that done, so it was like nothing. This one, she didn't numb me because she said that when you're using a laser like that, she really wants to see tissue response and obviously see how it's looking. And um, basically I have to kind of gauge how things are feeling as well so that, you know, you don't get burned or anything like that. So I did not get to be numb. And I mean, it had some bite to it. I mean, was it bearable? Totally. I Beauty's pain, so I can handle it. But there were definitely some spots where I was like, break, 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 you know, uh, like more on like the forehead and like, like right there on the tip of the nose, things like that. So, I mean, it definitely had some bite for sure. I mainly did this today for my pores. I'm like, I, like I mentioned, I just hate them so much and they're really enlarged. So, so basically what it's doing is creating little uh, tissue damage superficially in the skin and help the your collagen basically like repairs itself and plumps up the skin and it's supposed to make it look really really nice and i'm excited for that she recommends it to be done in a series of three to four treatments so i am planning to do that and i will keep you guys updated each time on how things look and how my skin looks and how it progresses she told me that today basically stay away from any acids for three days uh keep my skin super super hydrated that Today it would look like a sunburn and it kind of does. It feels like when it, you know, also. And then um, keep it super hydrated because my skin's gonna get pretty dry. So keep it super hydrated. I picked up a hyaluronic acid serum from her so I can use that and obviously lots and lots of sunscreen. So I will, you know, do those things. It felt like if you've ever had laser hair removal, it kind of felt like that, but like on your face. And so, I mean, it felt pretty toasty afterwards. So I just jacked up the AC in the car and cooled it down and it's really fine. Like now it just feels like a sunburn. It's kind of, it feels similar afterwards as, um, you know, like the microneedling did. However, she said that this is a little bit more aggressive, which I'm all about that life. Like, let's get this skin looking snatched. Yes, please. I will check in later and show you guys how things progress, but here's how it looks. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. So. All right guys, see you in a bit. Good morning. So uh, I just woke up, washed my face and I was kind of looking at it 
and obviously a lot of redness has gone down. However, for some reason it doesn't show up as much in the camera um, as it looks in real life. It's like a little bit more red, I think, than what it looks like on here. So I will insert some pictures uh, using a flash just so that you can see it. Today it feels super dry, um, especially like in the cheek area, it feels really, really dry. And when I look at it really up close, you can uh, see the little like marks where each little boop, 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 boop thing was. So I'll insert pictures of that so you can see it. But yeah, today, I mean, it doesn't look crazy. It just feels really, really dry, which she said was going to happen, that it's going to feel like micro, like sloughing, so that it wouldn't look really terrible or peel, but that, you know, I'll definitely notice it. So I'm going to apply uh, lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. I'm pretty excited. I hope that things continue, you know, making progress. I like, I like these kind of situations because it feels like it's doing something. So yeah, it doesn't feel irritated at all. Uh, you know, yesterday it really just felt, you know, like kind of warm and you know, you could definitely feel like something was done, but it didn't feel like it was, um, you know, anything terrible. I just looked kind of crazy. So, yeah, this is today. Just really dry. I mean, it definitely has, like, you could feel like there's some texture. All right, I will check in and keep you guys updated. Side note, just disregard my appearance. It's hair wash day, so, you know. All right, see you later. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I wanted to wrap up this uh, video on fractional laser resurfacing. So I didn't film a, I had this done on Tuesday. I did not film uh, Thursday or Friday check-ins just because there was nothing visible like you, that you could see on the camera happening. My skin felt like the Sahara Desert. Like it was super, super dry. Um, and I will insert pictures of what things look like just because I did do really up close shots so you could see how the skin looked and how like dry and kind of textury it looked. But it was nothing you could really see on camera, so I just didn't feel like the need to come on here and bore you with the same, you know, monotonous crap over and over. So, um, today is Saturday. I just washed my face. I haven't put any makeup on yet, and I kind of looked at my skin. I checked it out, and I think it looks great. I really do. So, I feel like with microneedling and with this particular laser, this is a fractionalized laser resurfacing, it is meant to be done in a series of treatments, and the... Um, downtime is only two to three days or you know three to four I guess depending on your skin and I really enjoy that because I see a, I see a difference is it like something where you're gonna be you know like night and day results absolutely not but I'm okay with that because I really like that you can incorporate these types of treatments into your you know routine and into your life without feeling like you have to hide in your house or have these you know crazy amounts of downtime and I think there's a you know there's a place for these types of lasers and it's personally the kind that I would like because I can have this done during the week and still go about my day you know go about my life. It's like you had I had it done on Tuesday, so Tuesday I looked kind of crazy, but the rest of the week I just looked dry and it was nothing that was like significant enough that I felt embarrassed to go outside or that anyone even really commented on. It was just I could tell my skin was super super dry and that I you know wanted to keep a lot of hydration on it, but I really like it. I feel like my I was just looking and I feel like my pores look smaller. My skin has like that nice glow to it, um, you know, that I had after the microneedling as well. And I feel like everything is just kind of looking better and more improved. So I'm excited about it. I can't wait to do it again and I will update you guys each time that I do these treatments. So yeah, I'm super, super happy. You know, like I said, um, it was a little bit, pain it was, I won't say painful, it was a little bit like, whoop, like, shocking but nothing that was intolerable. I would totally recommend it if you have large pores or acne scarring or you know uneven texture because so far so good. I'm super happy with it and I can't wait to keep going. So if you guys have any recommendations of things that you would like to see let me be your guinea pig. I totally am down to get my face lasered or whatever else you might be interested in. Uh, leave it in the comments. If you have not subscribed do so. Hello and hit that thumbs up button. It really supports me. It keeps me motivated to keep making you guys these videos. And until next time, see ya.